Rise and shine, babies. Hey, what's up? It's Abigail with another AI Fuzz video. And today we have something very, 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 very awesome to share with all of you guys. This is our recreator workflow. And it's one of our more complex ones. It's pretty big, as you can tell. But I wanted to we wanted to share with you because we just finished uh, some finishing touches on it. And um, I wanted to make a video for it because you guys are the best and we want to give this all stuff all to you uh, for free. So this is it. So essentially this workflow takes a bunch of control nets as you can see and it will recreate a photo for you. You can use it to restore old photos, you can use it to recreate art pieces, you can use it to change animate to real people, you can use it to Shake that booty. I don't know. But listen, this is one of our favorite and our best workflows we've come up with. We all had a hand in this. Ed did the majority of the work, but I did a lot of it. Gretchen had a hand in this. Colvin was putting her two cents into this. And we wanted to share it. Now, it's going to go over the workflow for you first. Again, you don't have to make this from scratch. No way. I We will post the link to this workflow so you can download it, okay? And we are launching a GitHub real soon so that we can make it easier for you guys to download stuff, workflows and any nodes or any models we put up or any checkpoints, Allura's one-stop shop at the GitHub. So the Google Drive will die soon, but everything will be available on our GitHub. So this starts out with a load image. This is an image to image workflow. And if you guys don't know what that is, image is up inputting an image, an existing image and running it through the workflow and spits out another image based on that. So we have our prompts here. We upscale the image a few times. Uh, there's also going to be a control net. There's going to be a depth map DW pose and a realistic line art. And that's going to dissect the photo, put it, get the pose right, get the depth. This is basically the white is what's closer to the camera, grays and the middle black is the furthest away for depths, depth. And you could probably switch this with depth anything version two. Um, it'll probably work even better. Uh, and line art is one of our favorites control net models to use. So we run that, do the control net, one, two, three. We apply the control net, one, two, three. Run it through case sampler. We have uh, 40 steps, CFG7, DMPP2 million Karas is the scheduler. Our load checkpoint is our favorite. It's Epic Realism Natural Sin. SD15, this also works for SDN cell. Okay, VAE is loaded. So first we're gonna do a face swap. Face swap, you say? Face what I say, girlfriend. Face swap, yes, face swap. Face swap is fun. Face swap, it's kind of ensures, again, it's not exactly, but it'll get there, it keeps the same kind of face in there. And then we went ahead and load another checkpoint. This is for the second part, because we have our upscale and enhanced workflow built into this. So you have the one side, which is the control net dissecting of the image. And on the other side, you have our upscale and work, upscale and enhance. If you're not familiar with that workflow, go back and check out the video. It's our version and our try, the closest we can get to Magnifique without breaking the bank and making you go bankrupt and live on the homeless boy. But yes, this is the closest we can get. So it upscales your image it enhances your image by adding details. Details, it doesn't just blow it up to whatever, 4096, it adds details how Magnifique's magic does. So we, it's our favorite upscale enhancer. It is a beast to run, so it may take a little while on your system, but this is it right here. It's, it's intertwined into this. And I think I did a video back then about how you can intertwine art upscale enhance Workflow into any workflow, and I we did it here. So let me go through this. This is the upscale enhance, and you're going to get this. Okay. 
So here is the original photo we started with. Oops, what am I doing? Here's the original photo. It's an old photo of a lady uh, at a photo studio holding like corn with a nice dress. So the first pass will be just the control net work, the, the control net doing its work. Okay, so the first pass is going to be this. Hmm, not bad. Look at that. That is pretty good. Hands are good. Fingers are good. Then the last pass is going to be the upscale and enhanced version after it goes through our upscale and enhanced workflow, which again is tiled on the end of this workflow. And there's the final right here. Whoops. There it is. That's upscale and enhanced 2048 by 2720. Now it looks pretty good. I mean, if you compare it to the original, not exact, but nothing is, is exact in AI, but it gets close. It brings out the detail in the dress and in the flowers and in her face. So that is that. So let's move on to some other examples. This works great on old photos. Let's see it work on another old photo. Okay, here is our second example. It's an older photo of, it looks like a brother and sister in the photo studio taking Polly for a family portrait. That's the original. Here is the next photo, which is the uh, gone through the control net to grab the, the pose and the depth map and line art. And this is the final. Whoops, what am I doing? And this is the final with our upscale and enhancer workflow. Looks pretty good. To down to the flowers and to the coat. Coats, the design's a little bit different, but the tie and everything and the flower looks really good. So let's try, this also works on old photos of buildings. So we're gonna try and put uh, something in there of um, historic Detroit, which is an old photo of their city halls. Let's see what that looks So here is the old photo of city hall, historic Detroit. Now line art did okay with it. It jumbled it up a tiny bit. Um, you could probably adjust the settings for that. DW Pose just picked up the people and the depth map worked. Um, it did change it a little bit to an artsy style. Uh, this is the original, here is the next. It turned it's kind of like a painting and this is the last one with our upscale and enhancer on it. Still looks good, not bad, but uh, you know, probably not the best photo for that. So we're gonna jump into more examples. That's how we do it here at ADFS. We don't cherry pick. We show you everyone, every every generation that we can. We don't cherry pick. Not like all those sites that oh, this is our this is a new this is our new custom note. Look at all these great examples. These are our our successful four out of five hundred. Like bro. So this one is not as good, but it works. So let's jump to the next. Okay, here's our next example. This is a older painting of three kids, one with a bow and arrow, one with a bow. The other putting her finger on the owl, bro. That that is not safe. I don't know where the parents, um, but this is the painting, is the original. This is after the control met and the DW pose. Faces are kind of screwy, um, but it did actually take some liberties with, I don't know what that is, a monkey? It's supposed to be your hand, but it's not. See, uh, AI in the hands, wop wop. But anyway, it did take some liberties with the hats and stuff, put apples in her head, put a little hair and thing in his hair. And this is the final with the upscale and enhance workflow from Mars. Their hands are screwed up, but it did fix the faces and uh, it looks pretty good. It really enhanced the background and added them in the field of flowers. And uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. Let's go to a next example. Go. Okay, here's another example. This is a cool looking old painting of a sweet, beautiful lady wearing a beautiful dress. And this is through control net and DW pose. It changes her face a little bit, uh, changes her eyes, but it's still keeping the detail. And this is, what can you do there? And this is our, through our uh, upscale and enhancer uh, workflow. Or, and it uh, really brought the details out in the dress. It's uh, really a nice re representation of the original. And I you come up with a great photo. 2048 by 2592 of this beautiful, beautiful lady. All right, this is our next fly example. This is an older painting of an older man. 
And I did, most of these I don't have prompts, I leave the prompts blank. But for this one, I wanted to put a prompt in and I did, I put old tired man looking upwards just to make sure that it doesn't decide to make him younger or into, you know, looking at a piece of cake or something. But anyway, here's the original. Okay, this is the one with DW pose and control net. He looks tired and he's, he's older. And this is the final coming out of our upscale and enhance, enhancer workflow. Now, I do prefer this that over R. You know, it, 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 R gives him a lot of detail and makes it look HDR, but I do prefer this one uh, over that one. It's all for taste. Uh, so we'll check that next. Okay, is our last example. It's an old photo of a regal emperor. That's the original. This is just through DW Pose and Control Net. I actually kind of like this one. It took, it changed some of the color, but uh, it looks good. And this is the final through our upscale and enhance mode. And that one looks pretty decent. I like that one too. Yep, so this is our uh, recreator workflow. And, and this is a huge thing for us. We, we saved this up for you guys. And we wanted to make sure that it was absolutely perfect before we released it. You know, this is not like no Taylor Swift thing. Get it? No, you don't get it because you're not a Swifty. But it's a workflow that you can tweak and have fun with and produce some wild, wild outcomes. Just let us know. So go down with this workflow, guys. Go play with it. Have fun. Teach yourself how to use Comfy UI because Comfy UI is the best, is the best AI UI program. It can do everything you want and don't let anyone steer you wrong because they are wrong. Our Abigail is in the house and I'm out of the house because I have to go take a shower. So I'll see you guys later. Bye, babies.